Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Lisa Hughes with a WBZ News Update. Mass General is asking the state for permission to add more hospital beds so that it can ease chronic overcrowding. Mass General administrators say it's a crisis. The hospital has been operating at what it calls capacity disaster status nearly every day for the past 16 months. Now that status is triggered when the day starts with at least 45 patients waiting for hospital beds. Mass General wants to add 94 beds to deal with the constant overcrowding overflow in a new building that's under construction on Cambridge Street in Boston. Well, this is really disappointing news for anybody who's hoping to book an early ferry reservation. The Steamship Authority is postponing the start of its summer bookings because of computer problems. The general manager says there's no new date set to begin taking reservations and that puts a lot of summer plans right now in limbo. There are more changes coming to tea service in February. Redline service is going to be suspended between Alewife and Harvard for 10 days starting on February 15th. Orange Line service will be suspended between Forest Hills and Ruggles the weekend of February 17th. And Green Line service on parts of the B, C and D lines will be suspended for 18 days starting February 20th. Okay, one thing we know right now, we have a very cold weekend on tap. How cold? Let's check in with Eric. Yeah, cold so far this season. Tonight we'll get down around 10 degrees on the average. Any snow on Cape Cod comes to an end. Mostly cloudy skies, very chilly on Saturday morning. While this isn't the harshest air mass we've ever seen in January, it is going to be a cold day. A lot of clouds, breezy out of the northwest. High temperatures just around 20 or so. And as we get towards Sunday, another chilly one, but we'll have more sunshine. We'll have a better bounce as well, getting into the upper 20s during the afternoon. Still a breeze, which will add a little edge to the air. But I'd say Sunday would be the better day to hit some of the ski slopes. Or if you want to layer up on Saturday, you might be fighting with a few uh, less people out there on the terrain with much colder conditions expected. Lisa? All right, Eric, thanks so much. And thank you for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update.